Hi Cancer, it's L here to do your April 2019 general reading. So it's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Cancer who views the video, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank you to those who've done so already. Okay, so we're going to do something different. We're going to start off with an angel answer card. that will give us a feel for the reading, uh, and then we'll jump into the reading, okay? Wow, big happy changes. Nice kids. I want this. I didn't get this. I got weight. Okay. Um Yeah. Alright, so let's no no no. I want to use this deck. Let's jump into the reading. Big happy changes. And we'll clarify big happy changes at the end of the reading. Okay. So we're going to do one card for the past. One card for the present. And then one card for the near future. I hope that everybody's having a really good March. Really good start to um, the spring season. I know that is Mercury retrograde and all that stuff. So uh, whatever. Um... Yeah. All right. So one card for. Oh, nope. Okay. Queen of Wands in reverse. Ace of Swords upright. Wow, you got this off camera. Also, it's supposed to be one card for the past, but it's two now. So it looks like my Cancer was assertive in regards to their communication maybe in regards to cutting away or cutting off um, maybe an Aries Sagittarius Leo there's someone who was completely over overly uh, obsessed with doing whatever it is they wanted to do um, narcissistic behavior I know people throw that word around but this is real the Queen of Wands in reverse the, the queens are already concerned with their element, right? So, she's already concerned with the desire of her heart, her passion, right? So, imagine the, the queen of wands in reverse. Like, she's, there's nobody else in the world but her. And, and, and it's all about her or him. Um... This is a person who could have been cheating also. A liar. Um, manipulative. They do exactly what they want to do. Point blank period. And uh, Cancer may have said, you know what? I, I can't deal with this any longer. Uh, I, I think it might have to be done. Or maybe they laid down a law in regards to if you continue to act in this manner, we're going to be done. Let's see what Cancer is presently. Hmm. Could also be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could have spoken with air sign in regards to fire sign or vice versa. If you're not done with this particular person, then I'm done with you. <clears throat> okay all right four of wands upright presently so cancer is definitely concerned with their stability and what they have created thus far they're standing in their power uh that emperor type power will not be moved uh in regards to a relationship or whatever they have established Maybe with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. We'll clarify that. That could be good. That could be bad. You know? um, it's just the Cancer is concerned about what they have um, established thus far. Let's see. In the near future. There's Cancer in the near future. Mm. the near future the cancer is a six of swords 
the cancer is at a place of you know saying this is I, I so sixes are about the choice uh, they're making the choice to have peace harmony um, calm the stillness in their environment in their mental uh, in their mental capacity in their physical environment the cancer is tired of, of the fight of what I'm hearing the uphill battle you may be walking away from an air sun Gemini Libra Aquarius Sun Moon Horizon um, the bottom of the deck wow five of cups in reverse I, I cannot continue to make a situation the three of cups that spilled over in, in the upright I can't continue to try to make the best of a situation that's just not working and um, a situation that uh, is no longer it's spilled it's done I'm no longer emotional about this it can I can release it the cancer says I can I'm okay with it I no longer miss you I no longer can make this work I knew it wasn't working my heart was elsewhere or your heart was elsewhere anyhow that's what the cancer says okay so let's go ahead and clarify some of these cards to see what's really going on all right what is the ace of swords and the queen of wands in reverse in, in the near past in the past seven of swords upright could be dealing with an air sign you know this air sign that was or a fire sign that was out to do exactly what they wanted to do not concerned with the union the two of swords altogether concerned with the five of swords taking from the situation the relationship the union uh, what they wanted see the fives are about institutions and unions and long-standing unions and institutions right the hierophant so this is a person you may have been in a committed relationship with or if this is work it's a situation where um, you had an overbearing boss you just you said I can't do this I can't have this anymore I, I, you know this person is concerned only about the corporation not the people not the connection uh, there's no compassion in regards to uh, so therefore I'm done I need to have a new victorious start elsewhere okay what is the four of wands in the present whoa okay should I take him okay I'll take the two that were already flipped over king of pentacles the high priestess so this says in regards to this relationship in regards to this this job or this stability that I have created for myself thus far with this four of wands um, I'm good monetarily the cancer says I'm good monetarily in regards to the tangible of life uh, in regards to the pentacle uh, what you guys don't know is that this is the cancer speaking I have a, a plan of action uh, uh, of what to do next which would be you know the Empress type energy creating I have a plan of action I'm connected to spirit so I know therefore uh, my choice this is also the two um, I know that the choice I'm making in regards to this relationship and or job is uh, spiritually inclined and it's, it's backed by spirit. Um, yeah, some of you could be dealing with the Piscean person. 
some of you you're dealing with a situation where you feel like there was a, a lot of obligation in regards to this this uh, relationship or this job you were doing things out of obligation and now spirit says listen to your intuition in regards to the next move to make uh, keep your plans close to yourself and or there may be a Piscean person doing this in regards to you cancer uh, or Capricorn Virgo Taurus person doing this in regards to you keeping their plans of what is next for them uh, close to themselves uh, holding their hand very closely or very tightly and not letting you in on uh, secret plans or secrets se involving this relationship and or job uh, Okay, in the near future, we have the Six of Swords. Hmm. I've made the choice to have peace. It's a beautiful thing. Wow. And the Wheel of Fortune. So, this is a ten. Tens are about endings, right? It's the culmination of the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. We're done. I need to start over, either with you or elsewhere. Uh, the wheel is now turning uh, hopefully in your favor also talks about karma too um, the cancer is expecting good especially if they put out good um, the cancer has made the choice to close the door to allow an ending to allow the calm the culmination of now this could be the culmination of the ten of cups the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Swords or the Ten of Wands. Um, let's see. But if looking at the reading, it may be like you know, an ending of uh, something that was strife-filled. Queen of Cups. The Cancer is concerned about their cup of love and who they want to give it to. And who they want to manifest with. Who they want to invest emotionally in or with. Um, they're the closing the cycle out with you fill in the blank cancer um, maybe because this person just didn't have their best interest at heart cancer could be in a place of recovery recovering from broken heart recovering from just trying and taxing energy um, uh, recovering from separation, recovering from surgery, recovering from a divorce, recovering from infidelity, heartbreak. Uh, yeah, I am no longer emotional about this. Um, I'm in a place of mentally putting it all back together and recovering. Wow, this, that's really good, Kenson. Really good energy. Big happy changes. Big happy changes. No, we want to get the advice of the cards, all right? So we got the four swords again. What is the advice? Get two cards off. Okay. What's the advice of the cards for the cancers? What should cancer do? What's the advice of the cards? It looks like. Cancer's got their mind made up about moving away from, allowing an ending. Um, they understand it now. They get it. They may have secret plans of, of moving out of. What's the advice? What's the advice for the cancer? Temperance, the five of wands, page one. So this says wait. Um, yes, there'll be inner conflict in regards to, and there'll be pettiness and argument surrounding this change in your long standing union, uh, partnership, job. Um, there might even be competition. Um, but the message to um, go a new route, a new direction will come. But temper yourself 
you know that you know that you know it's over it's done but even in that regard um it's not what you do is how you do it right so i can be done with my marriage or i can be done with my job but i still want to give my job a two to three weeks notice right uh or i can be done with my marriage uh but I don't want to just ghost the person, just not come back home. I'm at, you know, the W for the next month or two until I figure things out. You know, it's just about how you do things. So um, there'll be a level of um, compromise, give and take, just for a short spell. Uh, it may not be the best spell that you want to deal with, the five of wands here, but a message um, uh, of um, growth of going in a new direction growing in a new direction will come to you so that's the advice for spirit big happy changes big happy changes it looks like that's what you're having this is like the first reading ever where cancer is like really solid like like it's not a whole bunch of I miss the person and I, I love them so much and I just can't leave and loyalty even though this person is not loyal to me cancer is just like you know what <laughs> I'm done um big happy cancer is so done that the advice from spirit was to wait like temper yourself don't just go home and throw the person out <laughs> yeah i'm not laughing at you cancer definitely laughing with you um, don't do that don't do it um it's not what you do it's how you do it right all right big happy changes give us something good for the cancerians big happy changes I always love that card. Big happy change. Because you just don't even know what it is. It could just, but you just know it's a big happy change. <laughs> Alright, we got the page of cups in reverse. Hmm. It might be a situation where there's a stalemate. There's a stall. Yeah. Or someone is blocking you. Or something is blocking you. The seven of wands. Um... The moon, yeah. The moon at the bottom of the deck. Um, wait, definitely wait. Um, there's some unknown here, and there might be spirit working on your behalf. Just trying to make sure the transition is as easy as possible. The cancer might want to give loving messages elsewhere to someone else um, this may be stalled there's blockage here there's someone has blocked you or someone is defending themselves against this message they're not receptive of only you know why um, or it'll soon be revealed to you Some of you are practicing like moon magic. Or this is like a cycle. We've got the seven here. And the moon talks about cycles. So just, it, something has to cycle out. And then maybe this page of cups will come upright. Right now, things, it's not that it's not happening for you. It's just that you're in uh, some funky energy. And maybe the person you're trying to get to or the situation or the job you're trying to get to is um needs to work itself out also with the moon card here all right so we're going to end with the butterfly oracle cards what should cancer be concerned with moving forward in april 2019 what should cancer be concerned with moving forward in april 2019 right 20 I don't know, time moves so fast, it might be 2020 next month. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs>
and corny chart for me. I thought it was funny. Welcome the new. Yeah, there is newness here for you. I think Cancer knows what they want to do or where they want to go. And that's why it's a bit of anxious um, or anxiety here. Welcome the new. There is newness here for you. That's big happy changes. Welcome the new. Very, very good. Courage. Nice. The strength of the lion. Have the courage to do this. If you haven't done it already, have the courage to um, defend yourself. If someone, it, it, this could be the adverse too. If someone's trying to come back and give you these loving messages, be the seven of wands. Defend yourself against that because you know that this person hasn't changed or it will be, it's just too soon. You know, so um, you might have to block it out. Have the courage to do so. Just because a person says that they miss you um, necessarily doesn't mean that they're lying or, or they don't miss you. Um, it may mean that they miss having access to you. You know, so it's a different, it's very different than missing you. Uh, or, or a person misses what you do. For them. Pretty much plain. Simple. Heavenly signs. With that high priestess here. Nice. The bottom of the deck. Memories. Oh Lord. The cancer and the memories. Come on y'all. Have the memory. And then keep moving. Um, don't get stuck here. Don't get stuck here. Okay. Um, it looks like you're not. With the five of cups in reverse. But. Don't get stuck here. You know, yeah, we did have some good times. It was fun. Uh, they are attractive. The sex was good or is good, but it's not worth it, right? Okay, so Cancer, if you feel like this reading resonated with you, for you, go ahead and click that like button. Also, um, if uh, you have a yes or no question, go ahead and and book your yes or no reading via emails. I'll pull a few cards for you and you can get a yes or no answer. It must be one question, um, open ended. Uh, should I leave? Is this person coming back? Should I extend um, the offer of marriage? Should I uh, call this person? You know, yes or no questions, all right? Or if you need something more uh, in depth, detail, go over to the website. All information is below. Um, and book something there okay thank you um know that i'm praying for you cancer pray for me as well take care guys